There is something I don't like about social media. It's hard to pinpoint, but in this video, I will hopefully be able to identify the main issues. I first started flirting with social media back in 2001 or 2002. I just recently moved to Japan for work, was only 22 years old, and was obviously feeling a bit lonely. I stumbled upon a site called School Friends Australia, or similar. I think it was later rebranded to Friends Reunited. So I decided to make a profile. There were about 10 other students from my grade at school who had also made profiles, out of a possible 120 or so, so clearly many people either didn't know about, or weren't willing to use social networks. So I was quite excited to get in contact with them. However, most of them were people I never particularly liked at school or had little to do with. I decided to be a bystander and just kept an eye on the site to see how people interacted with it. Back then, social media wasn't a term, or at least wasn't in common use. It was quite a novel idea to share your personal information over the internet. Most people I knew, though, enjoyed their privacy and didn't want to voluntarily put anything personal about themselves on the web. However, there were some people who were willing. I found that my old classmates on School Friends fell into two main categories. Either they lied about their circumstances in an obviously facetious way, or they bragged about their wonderful life. As an example of the first category, I remember reading a profile of a guy who said that he had been raised by dingoes and was currently living in the rainforest growing marijuana and smoking weed all day. He said he had planned to become the Prime Minister of Australia, but those plans had since fallen through. Another guy stated he had found many new friends since joining school friends, namely Jim Beam, Johnny Walker, and Arthur Guinness. He also stated that his hobbies included walking the dog, sneaking into the neighbour's yard, and then if he got caught, blaming it on the dog. I found it amusing that these chaps had gone out of their way to make an account with their real names simply to post an elaborate joke. In hindsight, I think that's a far better use of social media than what some people are using it for today. The second category of users, that is, people who use social media to boast, I find far more irritating. Back in the day of school friends, I recall a girl who said that she was working in Korea as an English teacher, the same job I was doing in Japan. However, because she was working for a university, she stated that her job was Head English Professor at so-and-so university, an elaborate job title for someone who was doing the exact same thing I was doing in Japan. After reading a few more profiles of other classmates, I found there was a trend for people to talk up their lives. I didn't particularly like it, so I ended up deleting my account. I didn't revisit social media until it was in full swing six years later. I'd moved to China in early 2008 and had heard a lot about Facebook. It was becoming much more common for people to put profiles online, so I decided it would be a good opportunity for me to post some pictures of my travels in China. I joined up wrote a basic profile, and uploaded some photos. I hunted down some of my old classmates and became their friends. It was going okay for a couple of weeks or so, but then I started noticing a trend in my friends' profiles. Again, they were bragging about their lives, posting photos of their new cars, their beautiful girlfriends, their new jobs. I started getting that feeling that I had years earlier. I didn't like what I was reading. I decided to post a comment about this exact topic on my wall, or whatever Facebook used at the time, stating things such as, there's more to life than new cars, beautiful wives, and high paying jobs. My friends didn't take too kindly to it and said I was being negative and making them feel bad. It was then I decided to quit Facebook. I had only used it for about one month. Since then, I've occasionally ventured back into social media, mainly for business reasons, but I still see the same problem over and over again. After speaking with lots of friends and colleagues about it, I think many Facebook users are generally unsatisfied with their lives and try to make themselves feel better by showing their achievements online. This is a bit of a double-edged sword. On one hand, people can share their interests and achievements with friends and family much easier than ever before. But with that comes jealousy and envy. If you are constantly exposed to friends who only post good things about their lives, it's very easy to slip into a mild depression about your own life. Studies have shown that many people who use Facebook to make themselves feel better actually end up making themselves feel worse. This is due to social comparison theory, which states we determine our own social and personal worth based on how we compare ourselves with others. Theodore Roosevelt once stated that, "...comparison is the thief of joy." 
Imagine 50 years ago if we did what we do now on social media, but instead do it in person. Imagine if I went around to all my neighbors' houses, knocking on their doors, and telling them about my new car. Sure, some of them would be polite and humor me, but most of them would be thinking that I'm just showing off and they wouldn't take too kindly to it. Imagine if I did this every week. Every week I go around knocking on my neighbor's doors, telling them of my latest achievement or acquisition. Very quickly most of them would stop wanting to talk with me, or they might pretend that they're not home and not answer the door. The reason for this, I think, is simple. People know deep down that we all have flaws. For somebody to pretend that their life is so wonderful, this doesn't sit well with most people. The thing is, people aren't just using social media once a week, they're using it daily, if not more often. Many people are in a competition with themselves to show that they are better than the rest of their peers. It's leading to a very selfish and self-centered society. Furthermore, many businesses and individuals are making vast sums of money from the social media craze, so it is not likely to go away anytime soon. People are purposely going out to nice restaurants not to enjoy the food and the atmosphere, but so that they can take a few selfies and show their friends what a great time they had at the most expensive restaurant in town. I see it over and over again, but the funny thing is, when talking with my real friends, they often say the same thing, that they don't like Facebook or any other social network, and they're trying to cut down their usage. So I think people are intuitively aware of the problems of social media, it's just that they can't bring themselves to quitting, much like a smoker who can't give up nicotine. I'll finish with an infamous quote from Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg. Zuck. Yeah, so if you ever need info about anyone at Harvard, just ask. I have over 4,000 emails, pictures, addresses, SNS, redacted friend's name. What? How'd you manage that one? Zuck. People just submitted it. I don't know why. They trust me. Dumb fucks. Pretty funny stuff.